<laughs> you know who it is, and you know what time it is. Time to piss off some feminist trad cucks and whoever don't want to know the truth. Oh well, let's get started. What is going on, gents? It's RPM here, reporting from Mobile Command. Gentlemen, I've had this article in my back pocket, and I was watching Black Ram and Brother Oheen's live stream last night called Governments Are Coming After Passport Brothers. Now, Oheen was going the fuck off. Bravo, Brother Oheen. That's the type of fire that a lot of men, black men especially, needs to adopt. Now, I'm going to give my opinion on this particular hit piece because, yeah, it is nothing more than another attempt at the character assassination of the Passport Brothers. Now, let me start off with this phrase, which is going to be the bedrock of this video. First, they ignore you. Then they laugh or ridicule you. Then they fight you. Then you win by Gandhi. At this point, Passport Brothers have won. Now, this hit piece was published on the 21st of March. Members of parliament investigate alleged practice of you know what by North American YouTuber in Bahia. Austin Holloman made a series of videos in Salvador explaining how quote unquote easy it would be to maintain relationships with women in Brazil. Notice they said relationships, not pay for play. So if you want to date a woman in Brazil, all of a sudden it's a bad thing if you're a black North American man. Really, really. Well, gentlemen, of course, I always have a solution. The Public Prosecutor's Office of Bahia began this Monday an investigation to investigate an alleged practice of the crime of you know what by the North American YouTuber Austin Hollerman. Now, right at the gate. Most people are not going to read this far down. Why? Because the average person is too damn dim with it to actually sit back and look at the key words. Investigation, alleged. Now, if they just outright said, yes, he is accused of doing this, or he did this, then guess what? Austin Holloman would have a solid case for slander. Between the end of 2022 and beginning of 2023, Holloman published a series of videos through the streets of Salvador in which he reports how easy it would be to maintain relations with a woman in Brazil. You see, those who do not have an idiotic brain would have been able to actually capitalize on Austin Holloman saying, yes, it's easy to maintain relationships with women in Brazil. But no, 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 no. They had to get one feminist who got in her feelings and decided to blow the whole damn thing up. Instead of them saying, Hey, listen, shut the hell up. This man is actually putting us to the forefront to get more American black men who might come down here and bring their American dollars. 
Shut up. This is a long game. You need to go over there and go off somewhere. We want these guys to come down here and bring their money. But nope, she fucked it up. So here's the solution, black men. Brazil wants to be on some bullshit. Don't go to Brazil, period. Any country that wants to get on that bullshit, simply fly right past them. There you go. Never go where you are not wanted. But unfortunately, now I got to bring this Pearl situation into it. Too many black men have a deep psychological need to be accepted by everybody. I know with our history here, a lot of black men want to be validated. I get it. I understand. But damn, first and foremost, we need to start cuffing our fucking balls and saying, okay, y'all don't want us over here. Cool. We're going to go over to here. They don't want us over here. Cool. We're going to go elsewhere. We're going to go find where we are accepted, period, point, blank, end of discussion. And yeah, that Pearl thing, yeah, mm-hmm. See, this is why I'm glad I personally was never part of the Black Manosphere, because the Manosphere, the Black Manosphere, excuse me, has just gone down the same route as the MRAs. Look what happened to them. They brought a whole bunch of women in to make them the face to try to get their points out. And guess what? As soon as a little bit of heat got applied, those women, they heel turned on them. So, yep, here we are yet again, another situation to where, yep, men tried to put a woman as the face and it blew up in all of their faces. But back to the main topic. In one case, he talks about how he was walking down the street and was approached by a woman and that after five seconds, they were kissing. According to him, this would be quote unquote normal in Brazil. Now, the gym I go to, I become friends with quite a few Brazilian women. And these are some of the sweetest women ever. They are extraordinarily friendly. But I'm only speaking of them. However, I've never been to Brazil, but I can't speak on the entirety of Brazil. He has. Now, what more can I say? So far as all the Brazilians that I've met, they've been extremely friendly. So it's a cultural thing. But the fact that they're trying to make this into some sort of um, transaction? Uh, yeah, no. Afterwards, he took her number and they arranged to hang out. The YouTuber claims the girl kept rubbing on his arm and that she would have said that the boy was affectionate in addition to having asked about his life and family. What part of that seems like a... Uh, transaction. On Holloman's YouTube channel, which has more than 50,000 subscribers, there are also posts claiming that Brazilian women want financial stability for dating, in addition to displaying images of women in bikinis. Um, What woman does not want financial stability in any relationship? Once again, they're doing their best to twist this into something that it is not. These, or excuse me, there are videos with the same theme in other countries. Yes, showing how beautiful women in other countries are, how well kept they are, how in shape they are. The influencer encourages foreigners who are watching the video to get their passports and come to Brazil. Is that a problem? Once again, like I said before, American men, American dollars, 
coming down to your country would be a good thing. After being the target of criticism, Holloman deleted one of the videos and stated through social media that, quote unquote, a handful of Brazilians will ruin Brazil's reputation if they continue to attack me. Um, he's not exactly wrong right there. He's not. All it takes is a few to mess it up for the entirety. Quote, unquote, I love the people of Brazil, but these negative people need to leave me alone. He continued. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's right. Sought by CNN, the public prosecutor's office says that, quote, unquote, it has instituted a procedure to investigate the alleged practice of the crime of you know what on his part. Um, actually, there was no pay for play, so there is no crime. But once again, dim witted people will not read down this far. They will only look at the title and make their assumptions based on that. The information is being duly analyzed for the adoption of appropriate measures. CNN also tries to contact the YouTuber, but has not yet received a response. Okay. Okay. So now there's a new conversation that is forming within the Passport Brothers circle. Whether or not black men should move in silence. <sighs> Here's my opinion. Fuck no. Fuck no. Passport Brothers, you are not committing a crime. Therefore, you do not need to move in silence. Get your passport. Get your tickets. Be loud. Be proud. Yes, I'm going to this country. Yes, I'm going to that country. And if you don't like it, you can suck my fucking balls. Who the fuck are you to tell me what I can do with my goddamn life? Fuck that nonsense. This is absolute bullshit. And I've been noticing there are a few uh, quote unquote passport brothers who are saying that they need to or they might need to, you know, back away from the Passport Brothers title. Are you fucking serious? As long as things are good, you're about that life. But now a little bit of heat's been applied. Now you've seen the real versus the fake. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can be a fake Passport Brother because as long as the Passport Brothers title was popular, oh, I'm all in. Now, all of a sudden, there's a little heat being applied. Oh, you know what? Let me back up. Uh, yeah, yeah. Those who are real, they're going to cuff their balls. They're going to sack the fuck up. Obviously, the posers are the ones who are going to back the fuck up. Get the fuck out of here. Can't believe this shit. All the bullshit that women do Women will circle the fucking wagons around a woman that they know is wrong. There was a woman recently on Facebook Live who offlined her husband and you still got women defending that. The man was getting ready to go to work. He did not want to argue with this woman and she still fucking shot him dead. And you still got people out here defending women like that. But yet, all of a sudden, young brother gets accused. Well, let me, let me take that back. He's alleged to have done something, and all of a sudden, oh, we need to go ahead and distance ourselves. That's why men can never fucking unite. You know this young man did not do anything wrong, but yet you still want to fucking put some distance between him and you. Nah, the Passport Brothers need to circle the wagon. You're supposed to be logical men. You know what this young man 
did was right. He was simply broadcasting and actually putting out reasons for you to leave. But no, 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 no. Little bit of heat gets applied. Yeah, yeah. Lots of, um, I hate to say it, but I got to say it. Lots of cowardice is being put on display. If you ain't about that life, hey, shut the fuck up. If you are about that life, stand 10 toes down. Good or bad, you're going to still put that passport up and say, yeah. Hey, it is what it is. Y'all don't like it? Oh, well. What are you going to do about it? Oh, we're going to shame you. We're going to call you this. We're going to call you that. Yeah. Um, here's how much of a fuck that I give. Zero. Pretty much zero. Brothers, the fight has begun. But guess what? You've already won. Be proud. Be a proud passport brother. Be loud and boisterous. Shout from the top of the mountains. I got my passport. I'm getting the hell off this crazy ass plantation. And if those of you who have a problem with it, kiss the inside of my black ass. That's what the fuck you do. Period. Point blank. Well, I've rambled on long enough. Read the short article if you want. Let me know what you guys think. And women of the West who are trying to stop the Passport Brothers by any means necessary. You truly need to understand this. The power you think you have over men, especially black men, is going out. Feminism and the idea that men, especially black men, are supposed to stay here and put up with your abuse, that's going out right along with it. Why? Because more and more men, despite shit like this being put out, are going to get the fuck out of this goddamn zoo. Period. Point blank. That's all I got to say for this one. RPM, I am out.